everybody, and welcome back to Idle Zeros. Uh, we're going to hop right into here because this update just dropped where you can perfect your souls. Um, so I'm going to get right into explaining why I think this is actually a good thing for the game and not a bad thing, as the community seems to think it is at the moment. I could be wrong and the community could be right. Um, seems kind of likely to me, in which case I'm just being wrong again, which isn't surprising. But uh, I think I'm going to make my case here, and I think it's going to be pretty compelling for some of you at least. So first things first, I already did it. Uh, I had a B copy of my homes. He's not here anymore. I put it into Ilamok, who gained almost 400 attack. That's it. That's all it costed, by the way. It cost one B copy of homes for 400 extra attack on my Ilamok. So... First recommendation, uh, if we come over to our B heroes, if I put in a B minus, I need four B minuses to upgrade that. Not very good value. If I put it into a, if I put a B in there, I upgrade multiple times. That's awesome. That seems like really good value. Um, so only upgrade with tiers of the same, um, of equal value. So basically upgrade Bs with Bs, B minuses with B minuses, B plus with B plus, um, and so on. Uh, just because of the bonus you get here, you'll see the little up there. That's because it shares the same awakened tier. Uh, and the same rule applies to B minuses. So for example, if we come over here and I do this, a B minus gets me an upgrade. And so let's say that I have a, if I high roll, or high roll in quotes, and pull a bad hero with B minus, uh, call it a Michelle or something like that. Um, that's not 300 contract starting gems. That's a better tenant, or it's a better homeowner, depending on how much you spend on your account. That seems really good to me. Um, it also means, let's come in here, bam, that if you save up your contract starry gems, which you should be doing, um, for whatever. Um, I used to spend it on treasure train because I didn't need hero copies at that time, but now I'm saving them up again, as you can see, to go in on soul awakening galas again, because guess what? The free B stone will either be a high roll and it's a copy that you'll use or it's 600 contract starry gems that you can retire. You could also sell it on the auction house, but um, you know, good luck. Or option D now, if I pull a B, I could upgrade my Ankiri Mara, whose prices are exorbitant in the auction house. And that would take one B copy to upgrade that. And automatically that's a free upgrade for my Ankiri Mara, who is a rare in demand tenant. So yeah, just good tenant copies become less expensive because you can just upgrade with other copies. Uh, same would probably go for forces because nobody awakens forces, so his copies have low supply, therefore prices are increased. Or you could just take any old B copy and upgrade your own forces if it's a B or whatever, uh, to become a better tenant that way. That seems cheaper and it seems more beneficial. Uh, it also applies with Bs. Um, we'll, we'll take my Halora out here. Uh, swap. There she goes. Don't worry, I'm not actually going to do it. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could put in my Halora and just like that, that's an upgrade. A damn good upgrade, I might add. Wow, 340 points there, pretty good. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty decent to be honest. God, wow, look at this, 4.4 <laughs> .4 mil attack now. If I swap in the copy, 7.2. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, so the people, the thing that people are complaining about mostly are uh, the prices to upgrade between tiers. So not within a tier from a B to a slightly low, to a better B, but from a B to a B plus or from a B plus to an A minus. So if we come over here, well, I can't actually show you, but um, let's say that I upgraded this. You'll see one more for soul for full progress. That means I need to upgrade this one more time before I can upgrade her to an A minus. Uh, you get a different upgrade screen, which I believe requires five A minus heroes and five B plus heroes. People are like, well, that's 
stupid and unfair, and DH has a problem. Um, maybe. I think they shouldn't have added that screen. I don't think you should be able to upgrade between copies. Um, like, I don't see, like, a, I don't see a point. Really, it would be great. But here's the thing. Here's the alternative. They could make it super expensive. They could not add it at all. Or they could do what other people wanted and make it so that it's not expensive at all. Like, let's say it costed five B pluses alone. What would happen? Well, if you come over here and we go to the B pluses and we filter by buyout price, let's say we buy 2K. We buy five at 2K Starry Gems. That is, if I have a B plus Aspen, that is an upgrade to an A minus Aspen for 10K Starry Gems which is like 25% of what copies are selling for now. Probably a little bit more than 25%. More like 33% for an A-. minus. But um, you would understand that that would crash the market. <laughs> so either A- minus prices would fall like crazy, which would be good, or B pluses would rise, which would be bad. Because those who are like mid-spenders who, do, who don't want to buy an A-, minus tend to go for a good B+. Plus, and now all of a sudden you can't afford it. Because B pluses went through the roof to match what it would cost to buy an A- minus hero. So that's... Uh, it might be more reasonable. What I would have liked, actually, is let's say I have an A- minus already. And you just want to take another hero to A- minus instead. So if I get an A- minus on Michelle or something, uh, instead of retiring it, what I could do is I could just take a B plus Aspen, get another B plus food hero maybe, and then get an A- minus, and then just put my A- minus Michelle into the Aspen, and then that would upgrade this. So you basically just swap, and that would mean you don't really need to awaken. You, need to, you don't need to worry about stressing awakening only good heroes anymore. Suddenly bad awakened heroes would have value. So like, I don't know. Dark Arthendal, Flora, Heart Watcher, all of those A minus copies would have more value now. So you wouldn't need to stress about saving up Aspens or Mockmen for Awakening Galas. I think that would be good. But but yeah, overall, it seems pretty decent. I mean, I like it. I like free stats. And that's basically what this seems like to me. So maybe you disagree, maybe you don't. Call me an idiot in the comments. Um, but I like the update. I know you might not, but I think it seems decent. So have a good day, everybody. Let me know what you think. Maybe I've changed your mind, but yeah, have a good one.